Here's an update on the silver cell operations. Number one has uh, 1.4 amps. Number two, 1.6 amps. And the beast is 2.6 amps. Here's a look at the anode filters. This one was full just 24 hours ago. That's silver cell number one. Here's number two. And the beast, I haven't seen a noticeable de decrease in the amount of silver in that anode filter. And I think uh, what we'll do with this one is, is install one of the thin filters in this anode filter basket and see if we can get the current flow to increase on this silver cell as well. Let's take a peek down inside silver cell number one. This is about 48 hours worth of growth. This is looking real good. The solution is blue and that's due to copper from the impure silver shot that I'm feeding into the anode filter basket. Cell number two is looking good as well. Now let's have a look down inside the beast. And it's looking good. Nice crystal growth in there. I'm seeing some trees forming directly below the anode filter basket on the bottom of the cell. But this looks real good. Let's fill this anode filter basket up with some impure silver. another spoon so this thing silver cell number one is chewing through the impure silver very quickly here's a look at the amperage now after we've refilled the anode filter basket cell number two There's the amps on cell number two. I don't think we need to put any more silver into the uh, anode filter basket on the beast. Uh, what I'm gonna do is wait for this silver to become consumed, and then I'm gonna change into a uh, thinner filter on this silver cell. A Couple of things to note here is that the current flow is going to fall off as the anode filter bags become clogged up with the silver cell slimes. So that's why we're seeing a reduced current flow through the cell. One other thing is the silver crystal is still way down into the cell and not much danger of coming in contact with these anode filter baskets. But what I'll do as time progresses and the silver crystal growth approaches the uh, anode filter baskets in here, what I'll do is install some inline fuses so that if we do have silver crystal that grows up and makes contact with the filter bag, it'll blow the fuse and protect the batch of silver. 
you don't have that in there, what will happen is it will create a short circuit, burn a hole in the anode filter bag, and then allow the silver cell slimes to leach down into the silver cell and ruin the batch of pure silver crystal. Okay, this will complete silver cell maintenance at the end of day two. Thank you for watching.